Hello everyone. Oh, didn't see you there. I'm just drinking from my canny little fox mug. <laughs> Not sponsored. Well, we did get something for free. We did. We no. got something for free. Anyway, oh. hello everyone, welcome hello. back to our channel. Uh, we do both have lovely little mugs today. I don't know how well you can see this and it's full of tea. Yeah, I'll be very can you see careful. how full that is? I'm moving up the way, I have a track says, record. Jess's stitching mug and on the other side there's a penguin but I don't trust myself to turn it around so I'll show you that later in the video. Mine says rice stitching mug and when you turn it around there is a very dapper individual with a top hat and a hoop. I think we should do that to your moustache sometime. Twiddle it. Mm -hmm. That's a really big hoop as well isn't it? Mm -hmm. I reckon they got that hoop wrong. I'll be proud. Probably. Um, we do actually have a very exciting giveaway of one of these mugs at the end of the video, so yeah, stay Not tuned. Not one of these mugs. No, your own personalised mug from Kind Little Fox, so yeah, stay tuned till the end. Mm. We'll tell you how to win that, but thank you very much for sending us these, they're so cute. I was so excited when I opened these. We got them like earlier in the week, yeah. we were meant to film the day after they arrived, so I was really excited, and then we've just like problem after problem. The SD card we have snapped in half. It was just broken, wasn't it? Fully just like snapped and we were like... Well, what are we gonna do now? So, yeah, we're here today. Bella's come through the ceiling like always. What's um, new? And yeah, Rai has made a point before we started filming that he's not gonna get too close and knock my tea during this video because we don't want another incident, do we, Rai? Um, it was very nearly divorced last time, wasn't it? It was not. You make it seem like I was horrendous to you and I was not, I promise. You were the right, little bit you were the right amount of annoyed. I was. That's exactly right. So, we do have some exciting things for you today. Uh, some new buy, well, a new buy, two new buys, some finishes, some whips, and we have the giveaways to announce from last week who won, like and we gold. also have... It was very theatrical. Thank you. We also have the mug giveaway to do this week, and... I think that's everything. Oh, and we're going to retreat on Saturday. Woo! We're only going for one day this time because we could not afford two days. No. But it'll be really good and we're looking forward to it. Yeah, we are. So, hello, I just got an email and you would love us filming. Um, yeah, we're gonna talk about what we're gonna take to that. And mine's probably gonna change. So we're gonna film mm. when we go to retreat. Uh, we go Friday and the actual retreat is on the Saturday. Yeah, but we didn't want to be driving up early mm -hmm. doors Saturday morning so we're driving up on the Friday afternoon stay so the night. we're gonna make kind of a little trip of it and we're gonna film Sunday morning hopefully before we leave to be like this is what retreat was like this is what we got it's the big stitch so yeah who knows like, what will happen apparently it's full so I'm a little bit nervous well. about the amount of people that are gonna be there but it should be good and I'm looking for it'll be nice but it's just that initial like Ooh. whoa yeah I get it at every retreat and then I'm oh, yeah. absolutely fine when I'm there it'll usually it's the drive up to the retreat and I'm Jess like, is oh, like I don't know if I can do this can I am I all right to be like so sociable that was mm -hmm. the word I was looking for and then when you're there you're fine yeah I'm it's just because it's a new environment isn't it yeah anyway I have to be social in the day to day so I'm just used to it now it's not fun why should we start uh, at the beginning. Move my little Mill Hill storage. Uh, well, first thing I did. The Mill Hill storage in question. Is Bella's old bowl. <laughs> um, first thing I did was finish some Mill Hills. Yeah, so good for Because that. I'd finished those before our last video, some of them and some of them afterwards, but I didn't get a chance to show them because it was a whip parade, not a finish parade. So, are we ready? I'm ready. Captain. Here is finish number one. It's got some dangly like pieces. You can't really see. Um, a dingle dangle. Can you see against there? A little bit better. Kinda. This is, uh, it's a Mill Hill kit. I'm not sure the name of it. It's a cuckoo clock though, isn't it? It is a cuckoo clock. Um, oh, you said different, man. You said cuckoo. 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 Yeah. Um, Six and two, three. I really like this one because I like the dangly bits on it. Didn't enjoy stitching that one very much, I have to say. Not the dingle dangles. Yes, I also didn't... Mm, I didn't enjoy stitching this one. This one was like... My third favourite to stitch. This one was my least favourite to stitch. I've got four to show you, so... Uh, there's this little Santa cookie tray. And it's got like a heart charm on it. And then there is this star which I think is a cookie to go along with it, you can't really see. But there's like, this is meant to sit on the tray, 
but I'm going to have it hanging down instead. Mm. So when I fully finish it and like put ribbons and stuff on, I'm going to put it's those gonna together. I'm all busy. And then this one was my second favourite to stitch. Here he is. Can I ask, what is he supposed to be eating? The batter from the bowl. What's, why is it so long? Is it a spoon? It's a spoon. He's got a oh, big spoon. Oh, right. Yeah, I was confused as to what the brown thing was. <laughs> it like he was pulling like These gem something. gems? These beads, beads that are in the spoon, um, they're not meant to be in there. But they were meant to be on the like string mm. to make it into a decoration, like an ornament. Uh, but I use ribbon for mine and I have a very specific way I like to finish them. So I wasn't going to be using those beads for anything, but I really, really like them. They're, I want to say they're the pumpkin ones, but that might be the other ones. They're just really pretty, they like brown like beads. Color, aren't they? Yeah, and I wanted to include them, so I added those in, but they're not actually meant to be there if you buy the kit. It's so cute. This one looked like just a blob until I added the back stitching, and then it was like, wow, love that. Blob no more. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Love it. Love it. And then this one was my favourite, although I am missing okay. the two like specialty beads. Uh, what are they called? Treasures. Yeah. I'm missing the two treasures because this piece has been ongoing for about six months. I'm not joking. Um, and there's meant to be two like treasures in the bottom of the wings and they were left out and I don't know where I've put them. They're here somewhere but not sure where. There's a little plastic thing there, it's not that is it? Oh. Yes right. it is. Here are the two <laughs> treasures, Ryan has just found them. Um, I'm amazing me. I will put these on and then this will be a fully finished too. And to finish these, I'm going to make a little video about how I do it because I did do a few before and I did have a few comments about it. So, yeah, I'll just show a video fully finishing them. I am available to be hired out to find small beads. Apparently. New business idea. This one was my favourite to stitch because there is a ton of beads in this one and beads are my favourite. Although I got really... Which one was I fed up with beading? I feel the like it might have been the Santa cookie thing. The cookie one, for some reason, I just hated beading this one. This whole piece I just had a problem with. That's probably why it's my least favourite one mm. to stitch. Why am I shaking while I'm holding this? <laughs> All the rage from having oh. to do it. <laughs> yeah, wasn't a fan, but I like those. And You got through it, and that's the main I thing. I did. That's all of my finishes. A bag just fell. That was scary. We have a little tripod that we're filming with and the bag for that Rye leaned up on the couch and just fell over. Maybe it was a ghost. Maybe. A spectre, which moves us perfectly on to a new bag. How good's that? I was looking at the ghosts when I said it and I was like, this is a segue and a half. I can only drink tea when it's like basically cold and Rye made it literally right before we started filming so it's really hot at the minute. Ta-da! I got my hands on Just Cross Stitch Halloween 20, 2024 special 2014. issue. <laughs> 2014. Yeah. Um, I was 13 in 2014. I was 14. That was 10 years ago. Yes, it was. Wow. Um, and you might be wondering, what's those rainbow tabs that you have in it? What are they about? Did they come with it? No. So I'm going to do a video at some point seeing how many pieces I can stitch in like a certain amount of time to see, you know. Just as a little experiment. Um, Rise looking at the Mill Hill kits on the back. Witches get stitches, says Mill Hill. Um, this is what we're looking at. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I went through, and I don't want to show anything by accident. Yeah, you don't want to, because there's patterns in there. Yeah, there? I basically went through, and there's like pages with the patterns in, and I tabbed the ones that I thought I could get done fairly quickly that mm. I really liked. Um, because we are going to Disney for Halloween time, not Halloween, but like Around be Halloween time. stuff. So I thought these would be really cute to like stitch up and finish and then hand out to cast members because uh, we're going to one of the Halloween parties as like little thank yous or if, you know, we're just there mm. and there's cast members that are being really lovely, we can give some of the Halloween decorations out. I might stitch some of the little bits, but you know. I always say I'm going to do like a million things and um, let's see what I actually see get done. Yeah. I don't want to put any pressure on myself, but... To that I say, boo to you, Jess. Boo to me. I, I'm really excited about that. I enjoyed looking through it. There's some really nice pieces in there. Yeah, I like looking through it too. Mm -hmm. Inspired me to do some, some little Right, Right's going to stitch some of them as well. I don't know why I did that for stitches. It's like a 
triangle. Like a malformed triangle, say that. Mm. That's better. I don't know why that's a stitch though. I had two new starts this week. I shouldn't have done two new starts. We need starts. like a klaxon. Ooh. What have you done? I just pulled the needle through. I didn't realise there was thread attached to it. <gasps> oh, see this is how I stored this project. I rolled all of the threads up inside the fabric. Like, and like I a, called a, it a little bindle. Yep. Bindle? Yeah. One of those things that's like a little pouch on a stick. Oh, you right. sling it over your shoulder. It's called a bindle. I didn't know it had a name. Well, there you go. I would have just called it a pouch on a stick. Right. Yeah, so. Yeah, a long way about it. I'll, f I'll fix the random loose threads <laughs> later, but here the is this. I see it at the back. This is a new start that I had. Uh, I want to say it's called Garden Party Warm, and I want to say it's Satsuma Street. It is Satsuma Street because I get emails from them now. Rai was like on his way to work one day, and we, if I'm awake when he goes to work, I call him and we're on the phone while he's driving. Um, and I was like, oh, this is pattern that I've seen, and I really like it. It was in the background of a video I was watching, and I just really, really like it. And he was like, oh, what is it? So I sent him. I did him... not say it like that. No, you were like, oh, what's the pattern? Yeah, I was taking an active interest, really not nice. just like, oh, I don't know what why is I've it? left such room at the edges. Like, room, there is a lot room of room. at the end. Mm hmm. Anyway. I don't know why I did that. In case you want to add a border of your own design. No, do you know what it is? It's because I stitch on a Q snap. Mm. So I put it in the Q snap and obviously that takes up a good couple of inches of fabric. And then I want to see fabric at the side to make sure there's definitely a border, even though I know there is in the Q snap. So that's why, but it's it's put it in a really awkward place to I could have done way more with this fabric. That's annoying. Mm. Um yeah, curve, isn't it? Huh? Mm -hmm. You'll know not to do it that far in next time. That's true. So I'm stitching this on a coffee craft fabric, obviously. Um, what else would you be stitching on? It's a 40 count and I really, really love it. I don't know why, but I just saw it in the background. I want to say like, it's pretty busy stitches, but that might not be right. Um, I just saw it in the background and I was like, I am obsessed. And I think you meant to finish it into like a little pillow or something. I'm not going to be doing that because it gives you like the instructions and everything mm. for like stitching it on a, I want to say a 28 or a 32 but I like stitching on 40 so I just I'm going to finish it my own kind of way when it's done Understandable. and I had kind of thought that won't take me long to stitch I stitched like 10% in one day and I was like oh, this is like easy peasy I'm going to get it done flying through it and then I got about I got to the point I am now and I was like this is taking me a lot longer than I thought and I missed my full coverage so I put her down and I've not picked it back up um, but I really like this one. <laughs> they've made they've made a couple of errors, but I don't think you can tell. Maybe if you really looked at it, but I don't think so. Can you tell where they are? I couldn't. You showed me, and I still couldn't tell you where they are. There we are then. I just really like this one. So I'm excited for that to be finished. Finito. L finished. That's the one. I'm really bad at folding stuff back up. So there we go. Yeah, that was okay. That was quite neat, actually. Just oh, nobody now you're going to undo it. There we go. All in project bags. I know. I. It's because my project bags all have other projects <laughs> in. That's the problem. Uh, somebody commented on my whip parade and was like, I thought you had a very blue Medusa doll maker piece. And I was like, comment came up and I remember being like, what? What, what piece could that be? What pe I was thinking of all the kits that um, were on the Gecko Rouge website. I can't think of what... It's because I didn't buy it on the Gecko Rouge website. I bought it on eBay because they stopped selling this kit by the time I found it. Uh, this is Edad Stark. It's a Medusa doll maker piece. And it was made by Gecko Rouge. It was a limited edition. So then they stopped making it before I got into Gecko Rouge. But now Gecko Rouge don't make any Medusa doll maker kits. So this feels like the ultimate rare piece for mm. me. Because like this is my second like most... Ooh, I really want that piece piece. The first most is the Medusa doll maker Deadpool kit that I cannot find anywhere. There was two on eBay that's at a, one point, rarity, but it? not the full version, and I want the full version. So if anyone ever sees the full version of that for sale, please let me know because I desperately want, want that it. piece. That does look like Sean Bean, doesn't it? It does. It's meant to be. No, I know, but like... I know it looks more like Kaplan than... I know sometimes, though, they're based more off the description from the book. Yeah. And not. Yeah. No, I really like this piece. And I think there was like a series and there was a few of the different <coughs> characters, but I've literally only ever seen this one on eBay, so I snatched it up right away. And 
Is anyone surprised? I'm stitching it one over one on 36 count. Hang on my little tag. Yeah, 36 count linen. What fabric is that, Jeff? It's a copy craft fabrics. Um, it's actually, if you watch the whip parade, it's the same one that has the animal sampler for like the alphabet mm. on it. Um, it's just the other side. So that's going to take up this half and this is going to take up this half and it's all going to be good. It's all going to work out. It's actually a really small piece. It's like 50,000 stitches. So there's no re And oh, well, there that's including all the white in the background, which I am not stitching. So I oh, know you've got a fun fabric, haven't you? So yeah, I've got a cool fabric. So I'm just going to cut out the like main piece. I really like it. I haven't done much. Um, I can't tell you how much I have done because it's a paper pattern, isn't it? Paper pattern. Unfortunately, it is so hard to work on a paper pattern. Like for a full coverage, I am not enjoying it. But we decided to start restart Game of Thrones. So I've decided by the time we finish this watch of it, I want to have this done. I haven't told you that yet. No, but now I'm surprised and intrigued. Mm -hmm. Are you going to stitch while we watch it? Mm -hmm. Who is your favourite Game of Thrones character? I can't remember enough of it to say. Mm. I'd have to watch it again. I like Bronn. I know you do. I th I'd say he's probably my favourite, just because I like, I like like the sort of rogue character. Me and Rai were discussing our favourite blues from this pack. This one is mine. I don't know if you can tell. Actually, it kind of matches my jumper. It does. Um, a little bit, a little bit dark darker than your jumper. It's like, I would say it's brighter. My jumper's a bit more, a bit less saturated. Um, which one was your favourite? You like that one? I think one? it was... Yeah, 23. I was going to say I think it was 23. I couldn't say That's what you right. So there's me and Ryan's favourite blues from this palette. Very you can't similar. really see on camera, but yeah. I really like that. That might come to retreat with us, but it might not because I feel like I have to really concentrate on paper patterns. Mm. And then I only have one more whip. I'm really surprised because I've been focused the last couple well, of you've weeks. You've been focused on specific ones, I think. Ow. Oh, you just needled yourself. Yeah. I'm all right, Ooh. I'm all right. Can we get an ooh in the comments? Ooh. ooh. Are we ready? No. Ta-da! I have done so much work on Wednesday recently. I hope that you look at this and go, that looks like a whole new piece. Well, not a new piece. That looks like a, you've been working on that really well. That looks like a whole different piece. Yeah. I'm really happy with how it's turning out. Yeah. Oh, hang on, let me pull up my um Your notion. My notion. Your notion of the ocean. I dropped my phone the other day and the case is all scuffed and it like is annoying me every time I pick up. Does it like noticeable feel? Yeah, I feel that. Oh yeah. Uh so Wednesday is now on twenty eight point two percent. Well done. There's thirty that's a motorbike. That's a big motorbike. That is 32,503 stitches. That's a lot of stitches, isn't it? And what I've decided to do, because I've got a problem, and I have this with every single piece, it's not just Wednesday, where I'm like, I don't know which colour to pick next, there's too many colours to mm. pick from. So I've decided how I'm going to decide is I'm going to work in like rows of 10, and I'm going to just do the top leftmost stitch and stitch that and like it doesn't have to stay within that row of 10 or anything I just pick that colour and then I work however that colour needs to be worked and then I pick the next colour and do that because that way I'm choosing different colours I'm not just sticking with one colour so I don't get bored mm -hmm. but it's kind of filling it in a bit like a typewriter and then by the time I get to the row underneath there's already a lot filled in from the colours in the row above so I'm, I'm having a good time it's been working well for me um I don't think I've done sure. thank you I don't think I've done any more on the map since we spoke, but that will be coming to retreat. That comes to every retreat, that doesn't it? It does come to every retreat. Um, and yeah. What are you taking to retreat? I will be taking Leshy. I'll possibly be taking my Gecko Rouge if I can find a way to like sort of I might keep not it take a bit more contained. One. Just because it's like like hard material to work with and you, you don't you, understand. I was going to say you're on about me there. Yeah. yeah. Maybe not then. I've got one that I'm going to take, but I'm not going to show what it is until we're there. You'll know which one it is. I do. Yeah. The kid that's older than me and you. Yeah. What was the piece that I, I had and I said, there was, was you were talking Halloween? about Halloween at Harker and Hollow and I said, well, you could have that. There was another one and I said, Was it Shaw's of Harker and Hollow? No, it wasn't a Harker and Hollow piece. It was a piece that yes. I had that you were like, oh, I really like that. And I was like, oh, well, you could stitch it if you want. Well, I'll buy the, like, threads. No idea Don't what recall. that was. Um, It'll come to us at some point, I would imagine. 
I am taking Wednesday. Everything. No, I'm not. I'm not this time. I don't have time to take everything. I'm taking Wednesday, my world map. Possibly garden party. I'll do three and a half for that. Oh. Two and a half. Two and a half. Just like a little claw. And then I have two charts ordered from a vendor at Retreat, from Talking Dogs to True. Uh, and then I have three charts on pre-order for Retreat. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to have the stuff to like stitch on them. But I mean, what if you did? What if I just took the stuff? <laughs> um, so I don't. I think that's about it. I might take a mill hill, but I'm not taking much. It might be worth taking a mill hill. Mm. Just because like, I know... I really like mill hill kits. You can work pretty like, well on them, can't you? Out. Yeah. I just think I don't have loads of stuff with me. Mm. Well, I mean, just, it's going to be just us two day. this time, so there's more room in the car. That's true. Yeah, I'll be fine. Yeah. I need to have a look at stuff, but I think... <laughs> oh, and I was debating taking um, either my snowmen or one of the Fabulous House series, just to kind of get them done. Mm. And I was like, oh, the Fabulous House series is smaller because it's like individual pieces of fabric. So I might take that, but I don't have the threads for that in the same way I do for the snowmen. So the snowmen, I might take the snowmen. That They're might easier. require a hobbycraft trip. I do not have hobbycraft trip money. <laughs> hobbycraft trip plus big stitch trip, no. So yeah. Not both at the minute. I'm trying to go very like budget friendly for this, this trip this weekend. So I pre-ordered a couple of things from Talking Dog Stitchery and I pre-ordered a couple of charts a couple of weeks ago, so I'm hoping I don't buy too much when I'm there because mm. I, I just can't. I don't need more stuff. I'm trying to like you trying to sort bring my yeah. stash down, not add more to it. Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. Should we pull some winners for our last yeah, week? Yeah, do you want me? I was going to say, you pull up comments on that or YouTube studio on here. I went through before we started because I said to Rai, oh no, after we filmed last week I didn't make a note of what the words were. Mm. Oh, this one is this one you have to pay for. Yeah, yes, plans and pricing. This is the one that you don't have to. Um, this is it. So I went through before we started this video and I made a note of the words the key that words. I think... I think I got all of them, I think there was four. Um, but if I've missed any, let me know and I will mm. do it next week instead. So the first one I'm going to pull for is Dinosaur. Oh. So nine people went for the word Dinosaur. And Scott Stitch, you won. Loved you with Parade, Tap Dinosaur and Cat, a beautiful fabric. So, so I will... Make a note next to the. You're made to do this typing. Yeah. Bit. Can you put that at? Because yeah, I'll um, tag people in the description of the video, um, so that they know they've won. Mm -hmm. What was the next one? Tap. Tap. So. We'll have to make sure there was no um, no duplicates. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna have to do this every single time. We had time. a bit of a to do. I thought that I could just change the word, but I've got to restart it. Tap. That seems like an oversight on their part. So 20, 20 people, people wanted, wanted tap. tap dancers, which I'm quite surprised about. It's a lovely piece. Uh, Heather just, Wiltshire 646, yeah. really enjoyed your whip parade. You have some beautiful kits. My favourite one is the holiday. Love the colours, very pretty. It's so pretty, that kit. I've always fancied doing the tap dancer. It's on my to-do list. I would love tap dancer if it's still available. Well, congrats, you won. Woo! Next one is Supernatural. Hang on, i got to... you got to refresh the I whole thing refresh, again. I have to refresh, unless I'm missing something when I'm doing this. Oh, I mean, you've got down a, a good system now, haven't you? You're fast. What's the Supernatural. Next oh, I feel like. What happened there? You saw me just type that. I saw you that, do that. And yeah. then it. The computer really said, no, not today, Yeah, address. No. Sorry. Right. Here we go. Here we go. 11, 11 people. Does it feel like you're at a really bad bingo right now? <laughs> the Crafting Gamer won Supernatural. That's underscore, isn't it? 
since I live in Denmark, I can't afford to get any Gecko Rouge in there. They're absolutely gorgeous. I do get from Hayde and absolutely love Amy Stewart and I've got a few. I started on A Stitch in Time and I've also started on the Free Forest Maiden. I would love the one called Supernatural if it isn't too costly to send. I'm hoping, since they're just fabric pieces, that also, they'll be Also, it's within just... Europe, so I think it's a different price point I have point no again. idea. I'm just hoping that I can fold the fabric down small enough that it's a little letter. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully this time. The um, last one. Is cat. Hang on. I'm um, hanging on. I saw someone comment cat and I was like, I have no memory of this. And then oh, I was like, I oh, it's cat. the owl forest embroidery one. Ready? How many people said? Oh, hang Let's on. Do I've it done again. the same thing. I think it's when I press enter. It doesn't like you, does it? No, it doesn't. This should be the last one. 14. Wow. This is May Day. Lovely whip parade and then heart tap cat. So. Congrats, winners! I'm quite impressed that we got no duplicates amongst them. What, the couple, same person won yeah, multiple times? Yeah, there's a couple times. of people yeah, that said good. two things, haven't they? They got on this one, love the whip parade, tap and cat. Mm -hmm. So like... Well, thank you everyone who entered. Um, we'll probably have more stuff to give away soon because I have so much. Um, and we do have the mug. Yeah, so, I was going to say, how would you want to do that one? Canny Little, canny little Fox. I've like bought stuff from them mm -hmm. since the very beginning. Um it's well documented everything. On the um yeah. Uh sometimes she sends me uh, some pieces, sometimes I buy pieces. I've got kind of a mixture of like mm. stuff we've been sent and I just wanna make that very clear before we get into this. Yeah. Because I don't wanna seem like oh this is great if I don't actually think that. I have yeah. bought like a few we both of the pieces. Have both, yeah. I've bought stuff for me and as presents for you. Yeah, yeah. Which is oh, all yeah, my Christmas yeah. present last year, yeah. yeah. Um so she has started making custom mugs and I saw these come up and it was at a point where I was like I'm gonna have to wait till I get paid next week well till Rai gets paid next mm. week to buy one mine has a penguin on the back and says Jess's does it say Jess's stitching mug? Jess's stitching mug, yeah I'm trying to be very careful because it's over Wednesday and if we have another nightmare that wouldn't be very good um, so I was gonna buy one and then she reached out and was like do you want one? Would you, can I send you one? and I was like that is very very generous of you um, and then we had a little chat and I didn't know she was sending one for I us so that was really one. lovely when we opened it and she's going to give one away to one lucky person who watches this video so to win you have to comment fox down below and how it's going to work is you have to be over 18 and you have to be comfortable uh, with actually I was just going to get you to pass on your information to Canny Little Fox when I pull the winner. Mm -hmm. So you have to be comfortable giving Canny Little Fox your information, your information to send everything through and everything. And it is for, Sorry. let me just double check because I want to get the wording right. Mm. You don't want to get like the wrong thing, do you? Yeah. So the person who wins will win a mug mm -hmm. and you can pick the mug from cannylittlefox.com and if you if you comment down below Fox and next week I'm gonna pull a winner and whoever wins I will let you know in the week after this video and if you direct message Canny Little Fox if you have Instagram or if you don't we'll find out another way to do it, don't yeah. worry. Um and you can sort it out from there between the two of you. Yeah. I'm so excited, I love mine. It's got a cute little penguin on it. And I was literally the other day telling Bella about how much I love penguins, yeah, wasn't you I? Were, weren't you? Because we were talking about favourite animals and where I was like, oh, mine used to be a penguin. I used to love penguins. Mm -hmm. It's frogs now probably. <laughs> or a hedgehog because they just remind me of you. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. But they're so cute. I really love them and I've said they're going to be our new floss tube mugs. I'm going to use these all the time but like especially on floss tube mm. because stitching. And it worked out well though because we just cleared out a bunch of cups didn't we? Mm -hmm. Literally like two weeks ago where I went through all of our cupboards because we just like collect cups and yeah, it so had we've like... Got, we've got no matching cups either. Oh no, why would we have matching cups and we can have random cups? Various I'll cups. match now. Yeah they do. Kind of. They're still matching. I'd say they're matching. Um, and I definitely, I was thinking, she doesn't watch these, so I don't think mm. she'll mind. I was thinking about getting your mum one for Christmas. That'd be a good idea. I think she'd like it. I think she'd like it. Julie Stitching Mug. Mm -hmm. Out of my mum's name there. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Um, yeah, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with my progress. I think things are coming on okay, and I will get stuff finished by the end of the year. 
I will. I was gonna say, you look like you believed that, and then your well. eyes just went. I have I'm, faith. I'm on track with my Mill Hills to get the amount of those finished that I wanted to. I think I'm on track with Wednesday. I really need to work it out because I'm just taking a stab in the dark of like, I'm sure I'll get this done. Yeah, yeah why not? Um, I'm hoping to not buy any more like lifelong projects, <laughs> um, which well, for we'll me see. is all of my projects, but we'll get stuff done. I want to get a garden party done fairly soon because I want to have that up in the summer it's not it's yeah, I was like gonna say, it's dark already outside like end of july yeah maybe that's a next year project we'll see 24th of july is what filming this i kind of want to stitch um halloween at hawker and hollow but i know i've made a mistake in it it's like working out how to fix mm. it up. we'll get there it's like fudging it isn't it so it's just right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah yeah next video you see from us we will be at the big stitch so Hang on, if I put this video out tomorrow, that'll mm -hmm. be Thursday. And then we're <coughs> the, so next Thursday should we aim to have a video out. Yeah. So next so we will film this weekend and it'll go out in a video on Thursday and on Wednesday I will pick the winner for the mug. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. So that it's fair. Because I feel like if I we upload this video on Thursday now and then we film again on Sunday, that's not long enough. No. Like I wanna leave it like about Give it a week. enough time for people. So yeah. Wednesday. You've got till Wednesday. Yeah. If you would like to win one so cute. I love it. Don't have it over your stitching while you're next to someone else though, because that's when accidents happen. You really tempted fit there. You didn't even like hover it slightly like, above, you were just like Right, right on top of. Whoop. Full spell. <laughs> I love these. Cute. As you take the biggest slurp. The biggest slurp. Right, we Such will see you next slurp. week. Congrats to all of our winners. Thank you everyone. Also, oh. if you subscribed after last week, thank you. Because we went up like yeah, we a had fair like a, amount a of boom, subscribers. Yeah, I think it's the whip boom parades. Yeah. I think whip parades is where you find a lot of different people so if you're new thank you for subscribing Hello. um we don't normally last two weeks between videos or at least we try not to we try and get a video out every hectic, week but manic in our house i know our house i had my, my little incident at work the other day yeah right i got, got electrocuted up a ladder right uh is an electrician so i have to let people oh, know Otherwise, what, like, what's the context behind that? There is not. I just went up a ladder and I was just playing with things. We've had doctor's appointments. Yeah. Like, nothing serious, just like little doctor's appointments. Yeah, but we've all had various Bella's different... been poorly, you know, other members of the family have been poorly. It's yeah, been... it's been a one, but we're fine. We're getting SD cards stitching. have been snapped. I, honestly, the only thing I can think of is that um, I keep my SD card in my laptop, which I probably shouldn't do. But it's because I know I'll lose it if I don't, so I keep it in my laptop. And I think when I've had my laptop on the bed and Bella's been climbing on the bed, she might have knocked it. Knocked it because she's not very spatially aware. No, she's not. I should like. She's her. like pretty good in public, mm. but as soon as it comes to like in the house or just like around us, she's like trips over everything, like her own walks feet, into things. walks yeah. into things that are like like a chair like sometimes though she's just too busy having a conversation and she's like oh i didn't notice i think she's just she's like, just like walked off yeah she just it doesn't enter her mind to be like oh i should probably be careful of this she's just like i'm gonna do this thing and then she's like oh whoops that's a problem <laughs> so i think I'm at some point now. she's like knelt on it and thankfully didn't break the laptop because that would have been a bit, bit a much bigger problem but yeah. just the sd card because i'm just thinking where it snapped looks like it would have gone in about that much into the computer yeah, and then snapped, it's been, so weight's been put on it's it. fine right got me a new yeah, one bought you a new one came next day anyway so so it's all good and that's why the video was a bit later this week but next week we should be good because we're filming this weekend yeah. and a little bit on wednesday yeah. yeah thank you guys very much for watching <laughs> thank you uh, and yeah we'll see you after the big stitch bye